So Sean Clement in our third edition of this putting, we're going to talk about how to read the greens. First and foremost, I want you to understand that as an architect who builds a green, he's got to make sure the water evacuates from this green quickly. And behind me, you can see that the green runs away to the front. So most of the greens always break back to front. Number one, because it's easier to see the green. Not many, uh, not many people like to see a green running away from them because you can't really judge on where you're going to land the ball. When the green is tilted towards you, it's much easier. And that's the way the majority of the golf courses are designed today. So there's your primary break. But then you've got the secondary breaks, all the nice humps and valleys that the architect's going to build into there. And he's going to build some troughs to evacuate the water from those humps and valleys out into the main break off the green and into the drainage area, whether it's a pond or a, a major drain. So we know here it breaks from back to front. Now, sometimes you'll walk up to a putt and you'll see the break so clearly, do not second guess yourself, go ahead and execute the putt. But oftentimes you walk up to a putt and you're unsure of what you're seeing and how much it's going to break. And that's where understanding fall line is very, very important. And Matt's going to show you how to find that fall line. So I want to pass the microphone over here to Matt. And he's going to describe a couple of really easy ways to do that. Okay, so when we talk about fall line, the first thing you have to understand is we're looking for a putt that's going to go straight. That's what the fall line is, a straight putt, okay? So how do we find a straight putt? Well, it's going to be on a part of the surface around the hole that is level. Okay, so instinctively, how do I find two level spots? Well, your body has kind of an equilibrium, you have balance. You know when you're on a level spot, you know when you're a little bit uphill, a little bit downhill, okay? So if I'm gonna find out if this is level, if I go to do a push up on this green, I know that my right hand is lower than my left hand because I can feel it, okay? I'm not gonna do a push up here, my right arm's gonna get bigger than my left arm, no good, okay? If I do it over here, left is lower than my right, no good. Okay, if I go right here, I can feel that this part of my hand and this part of my hand are at the same height. I can do all the push-ups I want nice and even, okay? So I know that this part of the green is nice and flat, okay? Nice and flat right up here. For those of you that if you did a bunch of push-ups on the green, you wouldn't be able to walk the next day, we got a little bit easier way to do it, okay? Same idea though based on using your feet, using your balance to find out where the green is level, where the green is unlevel. So I'm gonna start walking around. I can feel that I'm walking uphill very easily. I'm still walking uphill. I'm still walking uphill slightly. Right about here I start to think maybe I'm about flat. Still feels flat around here. As I start walking this way, now I can feel that I'm going downhill, okay? If I walk back up to confirm this, I can say that it's pretty flat right about here. So I found the high point of the break, right here, okay? As I start to walk back down, I'm still walking downhill, still feel that I'm walking downhill, still downhill. Right about here, I can see and I can feel that now I'm walking back uphill, okay? Right about there. Now I found the low point of the break, okay? So I've got my high point right up where the camera is, low point down here. And as you can see, we've put this here to illustrate, here is the fall line. That's where a putt is gonna go dead straight along this line, okay? So, as we get away from the fall line, say we have a putt a little bit to this side of the fall line, it's very easy to know how the putt's gonna break. The fall line will collect all the putts. Everything's gonna tend to feed down this way. So if I have a putt that's this side of the hole, this side of the fall line, all I have to do is pick a spot high on the fall line and let my point or let my putt join the break and feed into the hole okay so i'm going to pick my spot just like we talked about with aiming aim a little bit high of the hole okay so i've picked a spot on the fall line nice and high and go ahead and stroke it to the hole just like that okay so Remember it. That was awesome, Matt. Are you insinuating that I can't make a push-up? <laughs> Never. Yeah, for us older guys, it's easier to make, do, the, do the donkey walk around and up, and up and down on the green. So just to finish off, another way of establishing the fall line is 
finding the spot at, at 9 and at 12 o'clock, right? Right. So if you were to make a straight putt straight to the hole from a 9 o'clock position, if that's noon up here, that's 6 o'clock down there, that's your 3 o'clock spot and your 9 o'clock spot, right? If you make a straight putt, how much do you think, as an approximation obviously, how much do you think it's going to fall down below the hole? And I'll let you take care of the rest. Okay. So right over here, we'll come to about 3 o'clock over here, okay? I'm going to line myself up for a straight putt, okay? I know it's not going to go in, but I'm going to line it up anyway. Line it up straight. Now, if I were to hit this putt, I'm going to assume that it would probably break down about this far below the hole, at least, okay? The slope is going to feed it down about this far. So I know that in making this read, I need to make a spot high on the fall line that's about the same distance that's going to allow the ball to stay high and feed into this part of the hole right here, okay? So keeping that in mind, I pick my spot, high of the hole, the same amount that I felt it would break low of the hole. Take my aim, and make a good stroke. Close, okay? So that one I just overestimated slightly. It probably would have needed to be a little bit closer, but that's the idea. Beautiful, Matt. Thanks very much. Guys, I know this is going to help a lot of your putting. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to comment, and we'll be, uh, Matt and I will be happy to, uh, to answer that. We'll see you in a bit.